Steam trading is coming, and we've improved pings when using Quick Join. Since we made the swap from casual matchmaking to Quick Join, we've been listening to your feedback. We know that party play is an important aspect for many of you, and it's a shame it had to be removed with the reintroduction of Quick Join, but it is still possible to play with your friends using the friends list feature. There's no guarantee that you'll be in the same team, but sometimes it's fun to bash your friend's head in instead of teaming up to steal some milk jugs. Another issue we've seen coming up is Quick Join not putting you in ping efficient servers. I've experienced this myself when searching for a match in London, and I've ended up in North America. This is because our region detection system encountered issues, which we fixed earlier this week. So now when you search for a match, you get put in a server much closer to you, so you can down and teabag your enemies without the worry of lag. Now this is live, we may need to make a few tweaks and improvements, but for now, give it a go and let us know how it's doing in the official forums and reddit. Trading has been a long talked about feature, and I'm happy to say we're close to its release. When trading comes your way, there'll be 332 total tradable items, including the vast majority of weapon skins. So if you've got a friend who missed out on getting a gold katana, or hasn't had enough luck to unbox the Overdrive M4, and you have a spare lying around, you can now extort them for whatever you like. So get your inventories ready, and prepare to get tradey. For quite a while we've had a private test server, or PTS, set up, where select players were invited to test early content and give feedback. Their assistant has helped to shape Dirty Bomb, and we'd like to take a moment to say thank you to each and every player who took part in these tests and gave feedback. As of now, we've closed the PTS, and we're also no longer doing the wider PTS which has been talked about previously, as we want to test new features differently. Our plan going forward is when we have features which require testing beyond our own capacity, we'll do this completely publicly in a beta version of the game. Every player will have the option to download and play this version, giving all of you the chance to contribute and give feedback. We don't have any tests planned yet, but when we do, we'll give you plenty of notice so you can get involved. Hi, my name is Grunk. Welcome to another episode of Ask the Devs. Please don't forget to leave your comments and especially questions in the section down below, and let's get you guys some answers. How are you thinking of making the balance better? Some of our most frequently received questions relate to balance. Balance is very much an ongoing effort for DB, and it doesn't only involve analytics, but also your direct player feedback. That being said, after releasing significant changes to the game, such as reintroducing Quick Join, we like to let things settle first before we make sweeping changes to overall game balance. Will we have 8v8 objective servers again? While we currently don't have any 8v8 objective servers in production, with our community server feature that will be rolling out soon, you'll be able to make up pretty much any server of almost any configuration to your liking, including an 8v8 objective server. What's the status dealing with toxicity, and when will we see better solutions to reduce it? Toxicity management is very important to us, and over the past few months we've been investigating various avenues how to address the management of toxicity, including working on designs and systems. That said, with recent changes in law, including GDPR, we have to ensure that we are compliant while also providing these services. So please stay tuned for more news. This week, head on over to YouTube and enjoy Stream's third montage. The frags, the soundtrack, the edits, so good. Last week, you reported issues were friends, ping, and balance updates. For friends, we know many of you would like to party up with other players, but with Quick Join, one of you will need to join a server first, and then you can join on them via your friends list. And remember, you'll be able to pick up your own server when 1.0 goes live. For Ping, we've made updates and fixed our region detection system to put you in servers optimized for your location. And for balance updates, our next one will be going live sometime after the 1.0 release of Dirty Bomb. Now subscribe! And remember to follow us on Twitch! Last week we spent the whole time answering questions, and it was great just to chill out with you, so I'll see you there.